good morning. So as usual on Mondays, we go through the homework, the previous homework, a new homework is published and open, so you can start working on it after today's lesson and might be some of some of the problems you need to wait until Thursday as well. But that, that was very good majority. A lot of you actually joined this homework and that is very good because this, I would say, is essential for the people who are aiming for higher grades. But there were some mistakes which was common more or less for everyone. So let us do the problems here one by one. So the first question, simplify the following rational expression as you see here. It's a fraction given and then I want to simplify it, okay? Uh, usually this one is the one that everyone did it correctly, the people who actually joined. Okay, so how should I solve the problem? So if I want to simplify a fraction, I know that I have to factorize the numerator and the denominator and find the common factors and then eliminate them, yes? But as I told you, fact, so you see that the, the lesson, factorization lesson is very important. So he, if I want to factorize this, I told you that there are methods for factorization in this course. The one that you learned in Math 1C has priority over everything. Even though I mentioned this several times, but for example, this problem here, this is why majority of you actually missed that problem there. We'll come back to that later. But if I want to do it, is Math 1C method applicable to the numerator? Yes. I can factor how many x's out, two x's out, because here I have four x's, three x's, two x's, so at most I can factor x2 out. And from y's, I can factor one single y out, yes? And what is left for me here is x to the power of 2 minus 7x minus 8. Yes, is that understandable? Okay. And then let us do it in parallel. If that's hard for you, to start factoring the numerator until the end, dividing and factoring the denominator until the end and glue them in one problem. But I think the problem was so simple. Let us do it in parallel. I will do the same thing here. Is Math 1C method applicable? Yes, I can factor 1x out. So do it and then think what can I do, yes? So this becomes x squared plus 3x plus 2. Okay, so far, of course, I can simply this x with that x. But I cannot simply this x with one of these x's, yes? Because this x squared means x times x. So x is factor here, x is factor, and that's common. I can simplify that. But don't be in a hurry, so you can copy and paste and do the simplification at the very end. It depends which way you want to do it, both of them are acceptable. But I hope that you understand that these are standard factorizations of quadratic polynomials. And because this number is 1 and that number is 1, it's better to learn this guessing method because it is faster. So let us do that. For this one, I open two pairs of brackets, put 1x here and 1x there. And I ask myself, I need two numbers with minus 7 as the sum and minus 8 as the product. When I found them, I put them here and there. So what are those numbers? Yes? Minus 8 plus 1. Minus 8 plus 1. And it doesn't matter where you put minus 8, where you put plus 1. But always double check. The sum is minus 7, the product is minus 8, that's correct. I will repeat the same process for this one once more, yes? So what should I do? I will put two x's, one in this pair and the other in that pair of brackets. I need this time two numbers with this as the sum and this as the product, which is extremely simple. What is that? 2 and 1. So it becomes 2 and 1. And now I do start simplify. So x plus 1 and x plus 1 are factors and they are common, so I can take them out. This x and one of these x's are gone. I have two x's, x times x, one x is gone, one x is left. There is nothing I can simplify more, okay? So what can I conclude? It becomes x times x, x times y, times x minus 8 divided by 1 times x plus 2 times 1 so it becomes x plus 2 and because that's the only one I don't need to put a pair of brackets just x plus 2 but that is extremely important to understand this is the end 
you are not allowed to simplify this x with that x. Yes, that x in the numerator is a factor, but x is a summand. Summands cannot be simplified. If you stop here, that's okay. But I prefer when it is not hard and nothing can be simplified more, I remove the pair of brackets. That is optional. Okay? So I multiply it back. But if you stop there, you will get the point. So I will multiply it back. It becomes x squared y minus 8xy divided by x plus 2. I prefer to stop here, but that is also completely okay. Any questions? So majority of you do this one correctly, okay? The people who are joining. Okay, now let us go uh, to the next problem. The next problem, many of you who actually did this exercise didn't do it completely. Okay, so let us see why. Here, we want to simplify the following product. So a very simple fraction is given. You are supposed to multiply it by another simple fraction. But of course, your goal is to simplify as much as possible because otherwise you just multiply the numerators, multiply the denominators. That's not wrong. But that's not the simplified version. And we have to simplify it. Okay, so let us go back to the board. So, as I told you, when you want to multiply, two types of simplifications are allowed. Simplification in vertical manner and simplification in cross manner way. A, a, a numerator with a denominator of any one of the other ones. Okay? So, in order to do that, again, you have to factorize. So, if I want to factorize this, let me see if I'm recording properly, yes. So, what, what can I do? Again, is MAT1C method applicable here? Yes, I can pull 2x out. Yes, so from here, 2x is left. From here, minus 3y is left. This is already in factorized form. It's a product. Multiply. This is already in factorized form. That's a product. This was the source of many errors. People immediately recognize that this is the conjugate pattern. Of course, I'm not saying it is wrong. It is indeed a conjugate pattern. But I told you that MAT1C method is applicable. If it is applicable, that has priority. I have to fix it. So if MAT1C method is applicable, that has the priority. Is MAT1C method applicable here? It is. You factor 9 out. Okay? And if you don't do that, so I intentionally designed it in that way so that you don't respect what I said. Yes, you have to be aware of what I'm saying. So between these two, I can factor a 9 out. So that is MAT1C method. So if I factor 9 out, it becomes 9y squared minus 4x squared. Okay? This is one of those cases that, of course, in this form, it is a conjugate pattern. But if you immediately do the conjugate pattern, you will not be able to see that what comes out from here can cancel that one. And this is why you are left with a bigger fraction. Okay? So what I will do, there is another point here as well. This is also I wanted to know. Okay, but because the factorization is not finished, of course, if you are in hurry, you can start simplification already because that's a product, that's a product, that's a product, that's a product. That's up to you, by the way, which one you prefer to do. But let us not be in hurry. So let me copy and paste everything because I know that for this one, factorization is left. If you do it in the middle correctly, you will get the point. So no worry about that. But what can I write here? There is another point that you have to be careful about. If I factorize this using the conjugate rule now, it becomes 3y minus 2x multiplied by 3y plus 2x. Okay? Now, this is, uh, I want you to see. First of all, do you agree that I can simplify this x with that x? Because these are factors, this is vertical simplification. Vertically, I cannot simplify anything more. Can I simplify vertically here? No. Do you agree? But can I simplify cross manner way? This one and that one, yes. 10 to 5, 2 times. 5 to 5, 1 times. And then I am a little bit unfortunate here because 3y minus 2x is very similar to this one, but this is 2x minus 3y. And hopefully you know that 
A minus B and B minus A are not the same. Yes? How they are related? One of them is, for example, 7. The other one is minus 7. Because B minus A and A minus B are not the same. It is not bad if I write all of them for you. If I have A plus B, do you agree this is B plus A? Yes. If I write A minus B, this is equal to minus B plus A. Yes. But if I write A minus B and B minus A, they are not the same. Yes, do you see that? They are different. This, for example, if A is 5, B is 1, 5 minus 1 is 4, 1 minus 5 is minus 4. How they are related? They are opposite. Yes? So this trick, remember. Okay, so let me put a star here. Because usually this trick we need. Whenever you have A minus B, but you want it the other way around, remember about a minus sign out. For example, can you tell me, if I ask you what is A plus B over A plus B, what is the answer to this? It's 1. If I ask you what is A plus B divided by B plus A, what is the answer? 1. If I say A minus B divided by minus B plus A, what is the answer? Again, 1. But if I say A minus B divided by B minus A, the answer is? Minus 1. Yes? A minus B and B minus A are not the same, but they differ by a minus sign. Might be it is a good idea to take some notes from here. I know you know it, but it doesn't hurt. And that is exactly what is happening here. Can I simplify these two? Yes, but when I simplify, the answer is not 1. The answer is minus 1. Or, if you don't like it, you factor a minus sign out and then replace them. And then you see this becomes exactly that one, so I can simplify this to this one times. When I simplify this, minus one times is left. I'm sure that you know about them. I'm just highlighting them so that you can pay attention to it. Is that right? And that was a common mistake. Of course, most of you didn't reach to this point to see if they can be cancelled because you immediately start with the conjugate pattern there. Yes? Um, I had a question with the 10x squared. How did you make it into 2x? I simplified 5 with 10. Oh, so doing the yes, the cross method. Okay. okay, now let us write everything uh, so that I'm sure that we are not mistaken anything. So 1 times, oh, so there is one, two here left here, sorry. Two times one times one times two times x squared. So what's the answer? Yeah, help me that I'm not making any mistakes. Is that right? You agree? Okay. And then one times one times nine times minus one times that one. What is this? It's minus nine, three y plus two x. Do you agree? Okay, you can stop here, but I prefer to put the minus sign in front of my fraction. This is not mandatory. And as I told you, whenever I cannot simplify anything more, I multiply this back. So this becomes 27y plus 18x. I prefer to stop here, but that is also completely okay. So there were two points in this problem. One point is that don't be in a hurry. Even if it is a conjugate rule from the beginning, but because you can apply Math1C method, do that one and then continue. Okay? The people who attempted this problem, they realized this uh, is important because they couldn't see that they can simplify more. Okay? Okay, so that is also problem number two. And finally, problem number three. We go here, uh, we know the rule. For problem number three, let me also show it here. We are supposed to simplif the, simplify the following expression, but this one is division. But you know that division is one step more than multiplication. You just write it multiplication and swap the second fraction. Okay, 
So, uh, uh, so this is the problem. And I think, uh, I, let us see how many of you, I, I don't remember how many of you did it right, but let us do it here. So the first step, I will change this to multiplication and swap these two. But I know that finally I have to factorize everything, so let us do them in parallel, okay? So can I factorize this one? Okay, Math1C method is not applicable. Which rule is that? Conjugate. So it becomes the first one, the square root of the first one, 3a squared minus this one, the square root of that one, and the same with addition. So what about the denominator? I can pull a out. Oh, sorry. b minus a. This one, I make it multiplication, but be careful. Now, this will go into the numerator, this will go into the denominator. So this will go to the denominator and cannot be factorized more, so I just copy and paste it. But can I factorize this more? Yes, I can pull a cubed out and b minus a is left. And as I see, no vertical simplification is possible, no vertical simplification is possible, but let us do this kind of simplification. b minus a and b minus a are gone. One of these a's and one of these a's are gone. a to power 2 is left. But again, can I simplify this with that? The same idea, yes? Here, I have 3a squared minus 2x. Here I have the other way around, but you know that they are not equal. But you learn that. You can still simplify them, but this one will not be 1, will be minus 1. Or if you want, you can make this one, that's minus 1, it doesn't matter. That's it. And then I start multiplying them. So this becomes minus this times that times that, so it becomes minus a squared. 3a squared plus 2x. And what is the denominator? 1 times 1 times 1. So I don't need to write this. And I prefer to multiply this in, even though it is not mandatory. So it becomes minus 3a to the 4th, and then minus 2a squared x. And that is the answer to this problem. Any questions? Yes. How did you, um, so I thought you would have the brackets and you write the minus in brackets and you switch it to the 3a squared minus 2x. Oh, you can do that. You, you can switch them, put the minus sign and simplify them. But after you learn that, it's better to learn that this one divided by the other way is always minus 1. It doesn't matter. If you want, you can do it in two steps. Yes? But because I will be correcting your papers, if you can do this quickly, it's even better. So that becomes minus 1? No, the answer should be the same. Yes. If, so here, this becomes minus 1. And that becomes 1. That becomes 1. Yeah. If you do it the other way around, this becomes minus 1, that becomes 1. It doesn't really matter. No, because at the end you will have 1 minus sign. It will not affect any day. Let's go. Any questions? Yes? No, you can do faster. Yes. But the problem is that I, I write everything down so that you can see. But I will, of course, do it faster myself. Doing some things faster sometimes will help, because if you delay it so much, then you will mistake at some point, probably. But that's up to you. OK, any questions? OK, so we stop this here.